Greetings to you. I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Today is the 9th of April 2022. I came over here on 31st to spend about a month with my daughter and grandson and my son-in-law. We, we usually do this every year, but we couldn't do for last two years. The sooner the opportunity was available, we made our plans and we are here. And I realized as soon as I left, there are things that begin to take place in Sri Lanka, particularly uh, the people, the society coming to reconcile their lives with the rulers. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last two years, ever since the COVID, I've been communicating with many of you, the three, four minute clips, and articulating particularly of the things that are concerning the society. How we should really enrich, empower, enhance society, not to marginalize. And that's exactly what uh, the people are crying in Sri Lanka now due to the mismanagement of the economy and misrule, the corruption, the so many challenges now have come upon Sri Lanka economically, socially, and the people are now voicing out their uh, voice of dislike of all of this and opposition to that. Many of the world's problems happens not because of anything else, but 99% of the, the global problems relating to poverty, sicknesses, economic destitution, all result of the human mismanagement and human behavior, egocentric styles of many leaders. And that is why the good old book says about these leaders and classify them as noisome beast. In other words, a smelly, smelly beast, what they do is smelling indeed. And that's exactly what we see in the world, in various leaders, political leaders, their work is very smelly. And when it comes to Sri Lanka, it's no exception. I've been communicating to the political leaders, the business leaders, and whoever concerned the importance of enriching, empowering, enhancing the society. But those things which I've been communicating, not many people have heeded to it. But if you heeded to that, you would prepare yourself. Many more things will happen unless you take complete understanding that the, your future and my future is not depends on wherever you are but who you are. You can be any any country, any place. I'm in this country, Melbourne, Australia, for the month. There's so much of things materially, but enrichment comes not through material things, but much more things. And when the leaders are really do not understand, as said, where there is no vision, people perish. The true vision is absolutely critical and important for people to be economically, socially, and in every aspect be enriched. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, it is so important to understand our future depends on who you are, not where you are, and who is enriching, empowering you in your journey.